the speed that I used to put in my basket. Only Jesus can be faster. <laughs> I'll be able to reserve it for like a week straight and buy it when they pay me. Sorry to this person who was doing me tumbo tumbo. There's nothing they can say to me again at this point. I think I look okay. <clears throat> anyway, let's start. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is or you can call me Zuru. So, I have been doing a lot of shopping recently. By the time you see this video, it would be my birthday next week. Hi, Ed Amy here. Clearly this video was supposed to go up last week or the week before, can't quite remember. Um, I had technical difficulties when I went away on my mini birthday trip. So that's, that's why it's late. I apologize. Anyway, enjoy. I'm not this person, this is not who I am on a regular basis, but every year around my birthday, I'm like, yes, let's do the most. I make it rain on my life, essentially. And as I grow and get older, I have more and more money to spend, apparently. So, yeah. The halls, the birthday halls are going to get bigger and better as the years go by. So, today I am here with a collective haul, a massive haul. I spent over £700, you guys. Over 700 Great British pound sterling. I'm going to show you everything I got. I will do this in two parts. I'll start with beauty dive on into Ikea and with fashion so if you want to see my fashion items watch the video to the end before we get any further make sure you like the video now because you know the thumbnail was incredible of course it was it was a beautiful thumbnail <laughs> go ahead and subscribe turn on post notifications and if there is any store you would like to see me shop at leave a comment down below because I'm a creature of habit and I don't really branch out to many stores but if there's a store you've been eyeing you've been seeing things at and you think hmm that would look nice but I'm not sure let me know so that I can be your test dummy for a while that's fine I have money <laughs> okay I have money cool anyway so the first items we're gonna look at are the things that I bought from Colt Beauty let me just hide my dress so I didn't really buy a lot of stuff from Core Beauty, but to be fully transparent, I have things that I've purchased that have not yet arrived. I thought I would be done with my shopping by now, but clearly I'm, I'm not. So yeah, this is what I have here and this is what I'm going to show you, but there will be another part to this haul because it seems like I just can't stop shopping. The very first product is the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation in the shade Maria. I bought that this foundation because I've heard so many good things about it. I've got it on right now. If you saw my last video that went up on Sunday, you would see me try this for the first time and do this whole clean girl um, makeup look. You would have seen this already if you watched last week's video. If you haven't, I will link it up somewhere. Watch it once you're done with this one. Following that, I also got the NARS Light Reflecting Setting Powder, the Loose Setting Powder in the shade Mesa or Misa. That's the one I got. Complements it beautifully. If you haven't watched my previous video, spoiler, I love it. That's it. I also got the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Set and Refresh Spray. That's what it looks like. Um, I'm just going to open it so you can see what the inside looks like because it's really interesting. It's got like this two layer thing going on. It reminds me of um, some of these, the cleansers my mom would buy from Mary Kay so many years ago that would have like oil on the top and the like water concoction at the bottom. Very interesting. I used it today with this makeup look and it seems nice. I will have to use it a few more times to be completely sure how I feel about it. But so far I do not hate it and I have high hopes for it. I'm feeling very positive about it is what I'm going to say. The next thing that came with my package was this sample tester thing from Briogeo. It's Be Gentle, Be Kind. Um, it is the Aloe and Oat Milk Ultra Soothing Shampoo and Ultra Soothing Conditioner. They are both hypoallergenic and fragrance free, which we love. We stand. What I know about oat milk and aloe is that they are calming, they are soothing, they're great for sensitive skin. They also add like a nice moisturization to the skin, which I think is amazing for hair. No, 
the scalp someone said this recently they were like your scalp is skin if you're gonna do skincare on your face why don't you do skincare on your scalp as well and i was like you right you right and i have been looking for um hair care products i think that's gonna be in my next haul i want to get some of the um well reviewed hair care products some skincare products as well that i've been eyeing i think inky is on my list they've got like a scalp scrub that i'm really really interested in i really want to get and see what it's like because i've got oily skin but very dry scalp my scalp flakes like nobody's business it is a nightmare to deal with so i think i'm going to test these two out either today or tomorrow just to see what it's like on my head see how my hair reacts to it and if i love it i'm just going to splurge on this brand because your girl needs help but they're a good size i think i mean hopefully they get through my hair but like they seem like a good amount of product but we shall see and the last little sample thing I got was from pharmacy. It is the Honeymoon Glow AHA Resurfacing Night Serum with Hydrating Honey and Gentle Flower Acids. That's what it looks like. So it's a 14% AHA BHA flower acid and it says the antioxidants and honey refines, pours and resurfaces to reveal a youthful glow. Apply generously to clean skin. Use two to three times a week. Build to daily usage. Avoid eyes and lips very interesting i love me a good aha bha combo so there we go i'm gonna have to find aha bha for like the skins but that's for another haul so that is everything i got at cult beauty well everything that has arrived from cult beauty the next thing i have got here is from beauty bay beauty bay came in the biggest box i've ever seen in my life This is how big the box is. So in my Beauty Bay box, I got this, the Earthy Vault. So it comes with the two eyeshadow palettes. Again, if you've watched my previous video, the one I posted on Tuesday last week. Yes, Tuesday last week. You would have seen this one, the bigger one of the two. Because I did an all green makeup look. But that's what it looks like. It's really, really cute. I did use one of the, no, two of the shimmers. This one here and this one here. On my lid in a corner, just very lightly for this clean girl makeup look. And they were lovely. I don't like the way they apply with a dry, um flat brush so i use this um brush it is a cream shader brush uh number 233 from zoeva i don't know if you can see oh god i've turned into the og youtuber okay cool it works well with like packing products onto the lid i typically use it to like pack on like glitter and stuff it's got red on it because i used it anyway anyway um but it doesn't work well with the brush with your fingers the shimmers that i've used amazing incredible with a brush you don't get that much shim to the shimmer then they're not shimming the way they're supposed to shim but yeah aside from that i really do love the palette i am perfectly fine using my hands to apply my shimmers i have been keeping my nails on the shorter side recently so i don't have a problem with it this is what the little one looks like it's got mostly greens none of the browns or the complementary shades I have not touched it. I have not breathed on it. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. I might give this out to a friend or save it for like a travel palette or maybe possibly put in a basket for a potential giveaway. You didn't hear that from me? You did not hear that from me. At what point do people do giveaways? If you guys get me to 100 subscribers, I'll do a giveaway. 100 subscribers. I should be able to do a giveaway. Even if it's just the one winner. But let me just not put that into... Let me put that into the universe. Because it would be nice to have 100 subs. Like, you know what? The next thing I got from Beauty Bay was some lashes. Three, to be specific. Three lashes. Three pairs of lashes. The one I've got on my eyes right now is um, from Unicorn Lashes. They are in the style Kishi Pie. This. I was torn between two styles that I really liked. This and another style. And I was like, I don't know. Do I do I get one? Do I get both? I've had this pair of lashes since 2019 and it has not fallen apart. 
I mean, it definitely does help that I did not wear these lashes at all in 2021 and I only wore maybe a handful of times in 2022. So it's still alive. <laughs> I got it about like April, May, so it has run its course. It needs to be replaced. It's not bad by any means. I think I will just use it on the days when I'm not feeling very precious about my lashes if that makes any sense but there we go that's the one I've got I bought replacements from them unicorn lashes in the shade peachy pie really pretty pair of lashes I love it clearly I've got it on my eyes already so this was the other one that I wanted to get that I wasn't sure of it's in the style stormy I don't know if they were inspired by the KKW gang I don't know I really don't care it seemed very dramatic and I like it so I got it it is what it is and then finally I got this style forget me not it's not as dramatic as the other two and the reason is because I got it from my mother she has been asking me to teach her how to apply lashes properly and now that I've said it out loud I should just buy her like one of those lash applicator tweezers shouldn't I I'm gonna have to make a mental note about that anyway I took it from her room just for this video so there we go in the style forget me not hopefully she likes it when she actually wears it the next thing that i got from beauty bay was the aggravated liner palette by beauty bay it is um the bright palette again if you watch my video where i did the green look you would have seen this already i couldn't wait for everything to come to do a haul i had to use what i had for what i wanted mm, i didn't care anyway <laughs> this is what i use it comes with five shades ufo electric pixie solar and burst fun fact i really wanted to use pixie see today but then i thought it doesn't go with the look i'm trying to achieve a minimalistic clean girl clean tiktok girl look so i decided not to use that but as far as i'm aware from the one shade that i have actually used it seems like it's really good quality so i am excited to create looks with this and the final thing that i got from beauty bay was the made by mitchell blush in the shade milk mix i don't think this is supposed to be a shade used on its own i feel like it's supposed to be like a mixing medium if you wanted to make like a custom color or maybe like a lighter color either way i am intrigued so i got it if you saw my green makeup look i'm referencing all my videos today if you saw my green makeup look i used it as like a base before i put on a pastel green shade i don't know if it worked but it definitely did not work if you get what i mean so i will be exploring how many other ways i can actually use this so yeah stay tuned for that the third and final makeup and beauty purchase that i made was from space nk it's a really small purchase what happened was i bought the red beauty foundation did not work for me hated it returned it for store credit because they don't do returns once you've opened the product welcome to the uk and i decided to use my store credit to buy my first ever sunday riley product <gasps> so they had this look at it look at it so it is the flash fix good jeans and ceramic slip got good jeans in the corner there it's uh eight mil or 0.27 fluid ounces whatever that means and the ceramic slip which is one fluid ounce i have no mental gauge of how much fluid ounces really is i, I can't picture it but 30 mils i know what 30 mils is <laughs> So that's what them two are the ceramic slip is a cleanser and the good jeans is a serum type skincare i mean if you've been on youtube on social media watching all the beauty gurus and the skincare enthusiasts you probably have heard about sunday riley i've heard about sunday riley but she's expensive and i've heard people with acne prone skin rave and talk about how sorry i had to fix the light and it, it went weird needed to like reset it i've heard people with um acne prone skin like myself rave about the good jeans and say it's really really good however when i looked at the price i was shook there's one for like 120 pound there's another for like 70 pound and the quantity is not like the biggest thing ever so i've been scared to actually make that purchase i use my store credit for it so i didn't actually pay for it if that makes any sense i mean i did but i didn't but i have a birthday code with asos i have not used so we're gonna 
have to use it and get that. Aside from that, I got a Verso Super C serum with vitamin C. This was from Space NK. Again, with Space NK testers, they are really small. This is how many? One mil. <laughs> I'm not sure what one mil is gonna do for me. Oh, sorry, no, I lied, it's two mil. <laughs> I don't know how much it's gonna help me but like I'm gonna have to test it out because again if this is a gem and this is what's gonna change my life I'll buy it I do like though that it has a little indentation right here where you can break to get the product out that means though that you can only use this once so we'll see and the last thing in my space nk box is from dr dennis gross 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 looks like gross to me mm -hmm. it is the alpha beta extra strength daily peel a patented two-step peel with seven acids to help smooth fine lines minimize liquid pores improve the appearance of an even tone and texture it helps you achieve clinical results at home and it has three treatments in there i have seen the reviews for this product the bigger one they've got two types they've got the one for the face and they Everyone want for body. Everyone loves them. Everyone loves them. They have like a multi pack where they've got the face and body together. I think it's about ninety nine pound or hundred pound. I'm eyeing it. I don't know that I would spend a hundred pound, but I probably will know once I do, once I test these out. <laughs> So this is what they look like in the thing. When you open it up, you get like a sachet. It tells you clearly this is number one. And then when you're done with that, following the instructions on the back, you then use number two. And then I think you just carry on with your skincare routine as usual. Avoid contact with eyes. Limit use to one time a day. Use only as directed. You can use it either in the morning or at night. And first time peel users may apply every other day until skin becomes accl acclimatic. Accl acclimated 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 it sounds very american acclimated you know what until your skin becomes used to it until your skin can handle it this english is is my first language but you will not stress me you will not stress me that is everything for the beauty section of this haul and now we will jump into ikea i'm gonna start with the thing closest to me and it is this mirror it's such a pretty little mirror i love the fact that it's got the gold stand all of the gold detailing is just so pretty to me it's got the regular oh god i don't want to blind you with my light i've got my studio lights in the back here <laughs> professional over here anyway <laughs> it's got the regular mirror on the front and the macro mirror at the back i used it for my two year anniversary on youtube video to recreate my first video on youtube if you haven't seen that i'm gonna link that on the screen somewhere check it out i'm really proud of that video it's a pretty look okay it's beautiful i'm beautiful you're beautiful too especially if you watch then you're extra beautiful <laughs> subscribe subscribe Yep, subscribe moving on to the next thing so this one hasn't arrived yet it is my monitor stand so i'll just include a picture of what it's supposed to look like i've got my um little desktop situation where i edit my videos it's nice i like it however your girl is tall or at least my torso is tall so i find that i'm like slouching to edit because the monitor is not as high as i would like for it to be so i've got the little stand thing it's got like a nice little drawer with it so i can keep like organized keep my pens in there keep my little notepad in there i've got that situated and that's that's gonna be over there i'm gonna do a video tidying up my actual table making it pretty making it presentable i don't know how that video is gonna turn out but stay tuned for that the next thing on my list is this table here that i am working with i got myself a new beauty table because i needed one i have been eyeing this table for years and i was under the impression that i wouldn't be able to fit it in my room because my room isn't that big but my mom recently got a table and i was like that's seems like the same dimensions and seeing it in real life IRL it doesn't look as big as I thought it would be so I was like you know what F it I'm gonna buy this table and I bought it I built it it was honestly the most straightforward thing ever the only scary part of this table was the glass and making sure I didn't break it but that that was fine I filmed myself building this table funny enough and there was a lot of drama in that video it was a lot of drama but i'll save that for that video whenever that video comes out you 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 will see you will see what happened 
Let's go. Blood must flow. Yeah, you. I don't know if you guys know this, but I've also got a small business where I do nails when I make my own little products. So the table I'm using is my former reading table. I've hated that table since I had it. It needed replacing. I had the opportunity to replace it. So I bought a new table, okay, from Ikea. And I'm so excited for this new table. I have not built it yet. I have not assembled it. So again, this is what that table I have bought is supposed to look like. I do not believe I'm gonna uh, build that table by the time this video comes out. It's too much going on in my life to even do that right now. It's gonna be be done later on and you will see it but for right now make do with the stock photos <laughs> it's got so many more drawers it's got like the alex drawers so much space so much room more surface area to work on the only thing that i would add to that table if i could is a glass top but that's another story for another day we are happy and grateful with what we have right now amen the very next thing i got from ikea was this wine glass <laughs> <laughs> apologies it is dirty i used it recently to drink some cocktail that i made myself that i really like i have a podcast i talk about things feelings whatever i feel like on there and the whole concept of the podcast is that i drink something while i'm there i'm not an alcoholic i'm not even someone who drinks alcohol i really don't be drinking alcohol however i'm slowly getting into it <laughs> so um, the whole point is that I drink something there. I've done so many episodes of the podcast, never drank a drop, not even water. So I got this glass to like romanticize the whole thing and make it seem fancy. Even if I end up drinking water out of this glass on the podcast, I had to drink it something and it's fine. Look at it. Do I not look grown with this in my hand? Excuse me, you can't tell me I don't look grown. I look like an adult. Hey. Oh crap, I am an adult. <sighs> Jeez. Moving quickly on. I'm so sorry, I haven't included the prices of anything that I've uh, mentioned so far. I will put the prices on the screen. I'm so sorry. The next thing I got from Ikea, Ikea, was that trolley. It was about £29 and I'm using it as a bedside table. I just like what I like. I don't know that I'm deliberately trying to be unconventional. I just, I like what I like, you know, and I hate what I hate. And when I saw that trolley, my first thought was, ooh that would be a sick bedside table and so i got it for myself as a bedside table when i had it in my basket and i showed my mom she was like Ugh, no i don't like it everything else you want to get that's cool that i don't like now that it's in my home and it's styled she loves it she wants to get it in white for herself for her bedside table so don't knock it you try it i love it i love it it's so stinking cute but anyway it makes me so happy. I had to like rearrange my room and for a few days it was a bit weird because it did not feel like I was in my room. But now I'm starting to get used to the layout and everything that's going on in here. So I'm really happy. In the picture or the video, I don't know which one I've put in, of my bedside trolley, you can see that I've got my little bedside lamp in there. That lamp, I do not know if it's still sold at Ikea. I got that lamp in the heat of the pandemic and I got two of them because I knew I wanted one on either side of my bed. And for the great part of a year I've only used the one because I only have I only had one bedside table on the other side of the bed I'll show you that one as well why not it's it's kind of like a trolley as well it's got wheels on it I've got my um lamp there with my little plant and a few other bits and bobs but that lamp it's been in my cupboard as soon as I got this trolley I knew that lamp had to come out but I did not have bulbs for it so I bought bulbs that's it that's all it is i got bulbs <laughs> the light is very 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 yellow but i realized that yellow lights calm me down at night i love white lights but they put me in work mode and that's not how i want to feel when i want to go to sleep so yellow lights it is for my bedside table the next thing that i have on my trolley that is new and was purchased from ikea recently Oh, that was birds. I, I thought my phone was going off. <laughs> it's birds outside. Anyway, the next thing was a vase from Ikea. It was only like £1.25. It's so cute, so pretty. And I just realised that the ribbed detailing on it reminds me of the lamp. That's probably why I decided to buy it. I don't know. Something happened subconsciously and I was like, yeah, this, this vase 
see my one to buy. I put in my basket, my mum saw my basket, so she asked me to get her one as well. So we've both got one, but we styled it very differently. She has got roses or flowers in hers that she wants. They are life flowers, she loves them. And I decided to style mine with a eucalyptus branch fake from Ikea as well for two pound. Also bought that recently. That's how we both styled ours. As you can see, my mum and I have very, very, very different styles very different taste but every once in a while one thing kind of connects our styles they kind of overlap somewhere and I guess this vase is where they overlap today the next thing I got was this doormat that I've got in front of my room because everyone likes to come to my room and I don't know why they don't mean to dirty my room but everyone brings in dirt from all the other parts of the house into my room including myself I don't like it I don't like it at all, it's very annoying. So I bought that mat for everyone to wipe their feet, including myself, before they come into my room. I am also very clumsy. My brother has been working from home recently, so he was, he's got like an ethernet cable running across the front of my room into his room so i put the mat over that cable just so i don't trip on it but it's it's serving dual purposes here and it's cute so it's a win-win i ended up buying two of that um floor mat so i'm just gonna see if my brother likes it and he wants one he's gonna have to buy it off me if not i will return it and buy something else on ikea but maybe maybe i'll take my money who knows who knows? The next thing I got for my desk was a mouse pad. I will insert a picture or a little clip for you guys to see. My mouse is a gaming mouse because I bought the whole set from like a gamer. Um, it's a gaming mouse and it's really, 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 really sensitive. So on my table directly, the mouse doesn't move. It doesn't sense motion. So I've had to put a piece of paper underneath. I put a piece of paper there in January 2021 and I was like, yeah, it's just gonna be here for maybe a few weeks while I sort myself out and I get a new uh, mouse pad. It is April 2022. It's still there. <laughs> so I've bought myself a new pad. Nothing fancy, just a black square and it matches my black table and the black monitor stand. It's, it's just perfect. Well, I haven't seen it yet, it is coming, but I believe it will be perfect. So at the time that I'm recording this voiceover, the mouse mat is on my desk and I am using it, but this thing is not a square, this thing is hooch. It's massive. But anyway, we move still. <laughs> I listen to a lot of music or podcasts while I work, while I edit. It's kind of annoying <laughs> propping my phone up against stuff because I could never find the right angle to put my phone where it's not in my way and it's kind of like comfortable, it doesn't fall over. So I got myself a little wooden table stand. That stand is gonna be there. So at least I have something to prop my phone on while I work. So at least I have my phone like in its own little corner. I got this other little 50p chain phone stand thing i don't know how i'm gonna attach this to my phone or how i'm gonna like transport it but it was 50p and i thought it was cute you know just something easy that i can carry around with me to the kitchen at least so i can like watch movies while i eat my food or something because propping stuff up on things we don't like it so i mentioned my other bedside table that i'm looking at right now and how i've got a little pot plant over there this one is alive it's a live plant the roots and everything i've been meaning to change out the vase of this plant for a while I, at this point i don't know if anyone's gonna believe me when i say this but i really don't like the color pink it's not my color i can do a hot pink because that, that works like in little doses with makeup look looks but the baby pink that i've got going on there my bedside hate it detest it i cannot do so i've got myself a little concrete plant pot that is coming soon i'm gonna have to buy soil and stuff from amazon and repot this beauty because she needs a bigger bowl this one's a little too small for her it's not working it's not working for her it's not working for me it's not working it's especially not working for my mother my mother is very upset that this plant has not been put in a bigger pot <laughs> She just got up one day, she was like, I care about the plant, change the part. I'm like, mother, why do you care? And this woman, this woman said, that it's her grandchild now. <laughs> My mother said the plant is her grandbaby. Apparently, since I'm wasting time, she has adopted my plants as her grandchild. So, 
she literally hounded me every single day until I made this purchase so at least now I have peace I want problems always but by the time this plant pot comes I need to have bought the soil and all the other things that I might need to repot this baby because if that pot comes and I don't swap it out in the next two business days my mother will throw a hissy fit I mean maybe not that bad who knows 12 by 12 centimeter pot it looks like a cool pot I'm excited to have it I didn't want pink what I actually wanted was a green pot and that is my final purchase from Ikea I'm just gonna show you it this isn't it gorgeous isn't it pretty look at it it's so cute but it's so big look beside my head it's so humongous on top of my head okay let's not do that <laughs> i do not have the next strength that some of the people in my country do <laughs> i cannot do that but yeah this is what i wanted to get i didn't realize how big this thing was gonna be in with the dimensions and everything so i bought it it came but it came broken so i contacted them i know it must have been a mistake it's definitely no one's fault it's just you know it's one of those things the one of the risks was sending like ceramics across a country or whatever but it's broken can i have a replacement please and they did they sent me a replacement came the very next day love them for that but it is massive as fuck. i was determined to just put my green baby plant in this thing but my mother was like no you will not <laughs> it's too big especially considering that i wanted to put it on my bedside table it wouldn't have worked it's just a little much just a smidge. I'm not going to be returning this pot because I love it too much and I have been looking at other plants that I really want to buy for my room. I guess I have a pot already for that one. I don't know if I'm ready to like take care of a monstera but I'm slowly building my experience and my expertise in plants to that point. Hopefully one day I can get a monstera in my room and I can have like a little green paradise in here but anyway this is the last item I got from Ikea for now. I have things in my basket still. And finally the moment you guys have been waiting for my ASOS haul. So I bought a bunch of things on ASOS. There's not going to be any rhyme or reason here. I'm just going to pick the first thing I see and show it to you okay. Cool. The first thing is going to be this box. Why are these shoes called loafers? I'm not sure. But this is what they look like. Isn't that the cutest thing you've ever seen in your life? And it's like really chunky. It's got some height to it. It's so pretty. I don't know if I've said this before, but I've got wide feet. They're just like, pssst. and then they're big to make matters worse. So every time I go to buy shoes from anywhere, I always go to the wide fit section because there's absolutely no need for me to be in the regular people section. It don't work. Uh, I went to the wide fit section and I chose my size, size nine. Came, couldn't put my foot in it. I think the, the problem was from this area here, just because they've got this little band thing above it. I kind of you know stifles it a little bit i don't know but my foot could not enter is the main point so i had to return it and get the same shoes wide fit in the size 11 and the size 11 my feet can actually get into the shoe i've got a little bit of a gap in the front which i'm here for it's a close toe shoe it's got the back of it i don't care i don't care it's big it's fine it's perfectly fine it was such an expensive pair of shoes as well i think it was like 30 pound or something wait hold on let me check close enough it was 28 pound <laughs> at the point of purchase when i bought it it was 22 pound 40 so i saved some money on it the next thing i got on asos was another pair of shoes it was this bad boy over here this flat bit is trendy now i don't know why but i really like this one it's the asos design wide fit haven padded toe thong heeled sandals in black this is what it looks like that's how high it is you know the lord jesus he made me with flat feet and somehow he also made me to be scared of heights so i feel like that combination makes it really difficult for me to wear really high shoes so i think i'm just gonna not deceive myself and get really high shoes and just stick to the height that is comfortable for me because at the end of the day i'm only punishing myself and wasting my own money so here we go this and it's not like a really pointy heel if you can see it gets like 
chunkier to the back of it there is some surface area here i can do this i can deal with this the full price of these pair of shoes is 25 pound right now on the website it's on sale for 17 pound 50 and i paid 17 pound 50 for them it's really really soft and padded on the inside some people were saying how like the thong part where your toes kind of sit should have been padded a bit more i don't know i don't care i ended up getting this in the wide fit uk size 9 they do have the uk size 10 but that's sold out and it's been sold out for a while so i'm stuck with a size 9 it's great i love it I, i'm comfortable in it if i could switch to the size 10 i would but i'm very happy with the size 9 so the next thing i got was these two these two right here they are the Daisy Street Plus Relaxed Shirt and Trouser in Pink Retro Face Print. I think it says in cliche, but I'm not sure what that is. I think that's probably the material of this and how like it's folded and stuff. I don't know. I love them. They're so cute. I ended up getting them both in the UK size 20 for the top and bottom because I wasn't sure how they would fit the specific type of material. And I think the size 18 was probably sold out at the time as well. But anyway, regardless, I'm looking at the website now and the shirt. The shirt is completely out of stock, but the bottoms are still in stock. They are um, low in stock, however, is what it says. So I think low in stock usually means five or less on ASOS. Um, but yeah, this could be my birthday outfit. But don't tell anybody I told you. The next item I got were the In The Style Plus Wide Leg Trousers and Crop balloon sleeve shirt co ord in cream. So they're supposed to be a pair, trousers, top. It looked like a moment, and when it came, it looked really pretty. I don't know about the quality, the quality was giving touch angle, but it looked really, really pretty, especially for what I wanted it for. I was really excited for it, but it didn't fit me, and I was just like, you know what? I don't know that I want to put in this much effort for something that I'm not like gagging over, so I returned them. No, I did not include their price in my title. The price in the title is for everything that I have bought and kept, so I'm not out here trying to deceive anybody. I just thought I'd mention it because I thought it was a cute set. If it's your style, definitely check it out. It's still available and it's on sale. It's on sale. Go buy it. At this point, I don't think anyone is deluded on the fact that I love jewellery and every time I place an order on ASOS, I have to have something shiny with it. So this time I decided to pick up something a little different, something I've never got before, something that I've always wanted but been a little scared to get because I live with an African mother and that's an anklet. <laughs> Living with ethnic parents is... um very interesting because when you make a purchase you already have your justification in your head and your argument for when they obviously will say no to it i showed it to my mother and she was like oh, that's cute she didn't even hesitate she did not blink she didn't she was like yeah that's fine that's cute that's nice it works and i was like mother i expected you to object and she was like there's a lot more crazy things going on in the world and if the craziest thing you've done is buy an anklet then I'm okay. And I was like, you right. You smart. You loyal. <laughs> but yeah, I've got this. And I can't wait to wear it. <laughs> Little does she know, now that she said that, I'm going to have a collection of them. The next piece of jewellery that I got was this statement necklace. It says, Selsey and single. Because I'm sexy and single. So I got it and I love it and I can't wait to wear it. I mean, there's not much to be said about these. This is why I love jewellery. It doesn't discriminate on size. It doesn't discriminate on skin tone. There's nothing to think about. Do you like it or nah? If you do get it. If you don't leave it. Like, you know, that's why I love jewellery. Jewellery is great. The very next piece of jewellery that I got was this ring. Look at it. It's so pretty. Typically with rings on ASOS, whenever they say medium to large, they only ever fit my pinky finger. As far as ASOS is concerned, my fingers are fat. I think I've said this before in a previous video, but it's okay. I'll say it again. But this one, it was just like small, medium, large. And I got the large and it is so big. It's so big, it can fit on my thumb. Oh, I think I'm gonna have to get it in the size medium and the small, cause I think this is trendy at the moment, this style of rings, of jewelry. 
I love it. I love it so much. I think it was five pounds. I got the large. I'm gonna get the medium. I'm gonna get the small. And depending on how the small fits, I might get the extra small. I think I'll just keep it on my thumb for the rest of the video. Why not? Cool. Matchy, matchy. Hmm. <laughs> I just said I was going to keep this on for the rest of the video, but I don't think I can. Or maybe I can. Let's see. The next items that I got were these rings. These two rings. So, look at them. They're so cute. They're basically a gold band with some acrylic over the top of them. It's so pretty. I love them. Yeah, see what I mean? Don't, don't fit. <laughs> Definitely don't fit my ring finger either. So they typically fit my pinky. I think this one's slightly bigger actually. Yeah, this one's slightly bigger. They look cute. I thought they gave like Y2K vibes without being Y2K. K. K. It was very questionable. As a child, I would look at people dressed and I'd be like, they pet that with that. Why? But then again, I am from Nigeria and we dress to the nines. So. That could be why. I went ahead and took advantage of the sale and I got this dress. It is this extremely oversized dress. It's humongous, but it's in like um, an oat color. No wonder it's a UK size 22. It is a sackcloth on me and I love it. Oh my God, I'm living for it. It's so huge. <laughs> Look at it. Like, I can't even fit the dress in the frame. It's too big, but I love it so much. I can't wait to like style it up, style it down. I mean, I don't know how much down you can style these bots. I can't wait to style it and be like, hello, look at me. I'm salesy. Uh. Wait, I'm having deja vu. Is it just me or have I done that in a video before? Oh, yeah, yeah. Look at me. 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 Anyway, one of the ways I wanted to style it up was with like something over the top of it, like a corset type thing to like bring some shape into it. For the days where I want to be cute, but comfy, but like slightly dressed up, I want to look like I put in some effort. And I got this corset drape top thing okay in this print and i absolutely love it it has no structure whatsoever and i don't know if that's going to be a good thing or a bad thing i will try it on for you guys okay with and without the dress and you be the judge tell me do i return this or do i keep it because on one hand i love it and i would love to keep it but also if i return it i can get my money back and that's good too so let me know what you think. Another thing I got from ASOS was this pair of earrings. It comes in a set of four. The two below are the bigger ones and these two are the smaller ones. I thought they were really chic, really cute. I'll just show you what the big ones look like as well. Well, I'll show you what one of them looks like anyway that's it there so it's giving very minimalistic but like in a cute way so this is the smaller one and this one's a slightly bigger one i love them both equally actually when i bought them i showed them to my mom and she loves big jewelry so she suggested that i wear them this way and that's like looping the bigger one in the smaller one for a more like dressed up look which to be honest i am not mad at this pair of earrings were giving me the runaround what happened was <laughs> i've been eyeing these earrings for a long time they have been full price eight pounds so i decided to prioritize the things that i wanted that were on sale then when i decided okay i'm gonna get these earrings i go to check them they're out of stock cool i put on my notifications and i'm like i'm gonna pick these earrings up when they come back in stock it's no problem nothing to worry about i get a notification at night that says oh they're back in stock hurry at this point it was like maybe 1 a.m or 2 a.m i was editing a video i'm like oh okay let me check i check it says out of stock i'm like okay cool maybe it just went out of stock again i go back to doing what i'm doing i get another notification that says oh they're back in stock roughly like 45 minutes to an hour later i check again they're gone it happens a third time and i said you know what i think i know what's going on because i've done this before asos does this thing where when you put your items in the basket it takes it off the website because it kind of like reserves it for you for an hour and i think someone's put it in their basket and they're thinking about it you know they're like reserved it and they're thinking about it and it expires it goes back um to the store and they put it back in their basket but between the time that it goes back and they put it back in i've gotten a notification so i said bet i'm gonna be on this page refreshing i had my 
iPad there in front of me and while I was editing my video and I would look every two minutes just refresh 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 low and below I refresh one time and I saw available low in stock the speed that I used to put in my basket only Jesus can be faster <laughs> as soon as I put it in my basket the thing said out of stock and I said gotcha got him yes yes I've done it before and someone did the exact same thing to me so I knew exactly what to do <laughs> I was broke at the time and I was like maybe if I reserve it like I'll be able to reserve it for like a week straight and buy it when they pay me I didn't end up getting it that time so sorry to this person who was doing me tumbo tumbo I've gotten it I've gotten the item there's nothing they can say to me again at this point there's nothing they can say to me again I'm very proud of myself <laughs> very proud of myself but I'm looking on the website now and it's back in stock it's it's probably back in stock I don't see any love in stock or anything so I could have waited but I didn't want to and that person good luck to them I hope they get what they wanted I hope they've gotten it I hope they are happy with it because I am I am beyond happy I'm very very happy I could I could buy a second pair actually I could buy a second one hmm I'll get back to you on that <laughs> I think that is everything. I think this is the end of the haul. Aside from the IKEA things that are still on their way and are going to be here on Tuesday, this is everything that I have with me physically. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you like any of the pieces or if you would pick up anything or if you have any suggestions on where I should shop next. I'm hearing a lot of Aritzia. I don't know what they have. I'm going to have to check. If they're shipping to the UK is terrible, I'm not doing it. But <laughs> let me know nonetheless. That being said, stay tuned because there will be another haul coming soon. And I'm gonna be getting stuff from Savage Fenty. I'm gonna get some from Space NK, some more beauty based stuff, maybe some cool beauty stuff. They've got like a summer exclusive box that's coming out. But they sent me a notification to like sign up for early release or something like that. So I'm excited for that. There's also gonna be some home stuff as well from IKEA and from like other home shops. I'm looking at made, made.com. I've got my eye on you. There's some pieces from there that are calling my name. Stay tuned, stick around, subscribe, like, comment, you know your suggestions down below. I think I've rambled on too much now so I will love you and leave you. Make sure to subscribe over there, watch some of my other videos over here. If it's flipped, do what you need to do. <laughs> I love you. See you on Sunday with my birthday makeup look, I believe. I think that's what's coming out on Sunday, so stay tuned. Bye. I'm, I'm actually filming. Right now? Yes. Oh no. What happened? I wanted to borrow your striped device. The tripod? Mm, I don't oh. know what else I can use. Stack a few boxes. Stack. Oh. Close me down.